Hello from California. Um, I'm away at the moment. As you can tell, you don't get skies like that in January in London. Uh, having a lovely time. Everyone's been very hospitable, very nice. And I managed to catch the game out here. Um, Arsenal 3-2, was it in the end? A win at Brighton. Much closer scoreline than it, than it ought to have been, really. We made harder work of it than uh, seemed necessary. In the first half, completely dominant, completely in control. Wasn't really a cup tie. 2-0 um, at half-time. We let them back into the game. A little bit of poor defending. Callum Chambers didn't really clear it. And Matthew Flamini didn't get close enough. Chris O'Grady scored. And then suddenly we had a game. But we got ahead again, 3-2. Let them back in, another good goal. And it made for a little bit of a nervy finish, which was completely unnecessary given the clear golf in quality between the two sides. But lots of, lots of positives. I thought Thomas Rosicki was absolutely outstanding. Uh, he's just ageless, isn't he? I mean, there's other players who've sort of had prolonged careers and appear evergreen, guys like Frank Lampard. But these people are guys who adapted their game into a way that that sort of makes sense for someone who's towards the end of their career. They play in a more measured way. They're not sprinting all over the place. They're, they're sort of more... I don't know, their age is more evident. Rosicki, it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like he's had to change his style significantly. If anything, he seems to be getting more energetic. It's like a kind of Benjamin Button thing. He's getting younger and younger uh, as he gets older. Uh, he just was brilliant today and he scored the third goal fantastic volley always pleased to see him shoot because he can be a bit reticent at times I think it's a habit he picked up from his his friend Alex Lebb but he, he's got good technique and created the second goal for Mesut Ozil that was another big bonus today Mesut Ozil and Theo Walcott both getting starts both getting goals that'll help them enormously and good finishes from both of them but Rosicki undoubtedly the star and I mean if he's Peter Pan I think next to him Matthew Flamini was the lost boy he looks a long way from being ready to reclaim his place from Francis Coquelin. I think we're probably looking at the last few months of Flamini's Arsenal career. Uh, and I think it'll, it'll be off in the summer. I think his contract may be up, even if it's not. It wouldn't be a huge surprise for me to see Arsenal release him. And another concern, Wojciech Chesney. I mean, there wasn't necessarily much he could do about either of Brighton's goals, but there seems to be a kind of weird statistical anomaly occurring, whereby if you shoot... At Wojciech Chesney, the chances are you will score. His shots to goals ratio is astounding. Um, and I think he's a decent keeper. I think he's capable of making saves. So it's difficult to explain. But if you're an opposition manager and Chesney's in, in that, so you say, just shoot from anywhere. Statistically, it's quite likely it will go in. Something for him to, to worry about there. I don't know if it's because of the nature of the chances we give away when he's in the side. Are the defence a little bit more disorganised? Are the, are the chances slightly more clear-cut? I don't know. But yeah, it's, the numbers aren't pretty for him at present. And I don't think he'll be reclaiming his place in the team next week for Aston Villa. Anyway, we're through in the cup. The draw's tomorrow. And a lot of teams aren't through. City out, Chelsea out, uh, Spurs out, Everton out. It's all looking very good for us. Um, we could do it. We could reclaim the cup. United and Liverpool... They're the big competition, you'd have to say. If we can avoid them in the next couple of rounds, or even face them at home, I just don't want to be going away to a team like that. I don't, you know, it's telling that last season when we won the FA Cup, we didn't leave London. We just about left London to go down to Brighton today, and we just about got away with it. So if we can stay with home home ties, that'd be lovely. Anyway, I'm going to get back to the blue skies uh, and hanging out and enjoying my holiday, but. Uh, Speak to you soon. Cheers.